Hey there folks, I'm Stefan Jaeger and welcome back to Only Boss Fights. Today we are going to show you 5 secrets in Remnant 2's first DLC, The Awakened King, and in turn some interesting rewards. So without further ado, let's dive right in. The Bells event in the Four Long Curse is the first secret and it rewards a new trait. There are 3 bells that need to be rung and the enemies killed that come when the bell is rung. The first bell is in the second part of the Forlorn Coast, by the gate that leads to where the Preacher was in the first area. The second bell is located on the way up to the One True King's Palace after leaping across the roofs and killing the very dapper giant. The final bell is through the door that leads to the top of Nimue's Tower and you just take a right. You will see the bell tower crumbled but the bell can still be rung. Completing this unlocks the Dark Pact trait. This trait, when fully upgraded, can reduce grey health regain rate by 90%. The Preacher at the Dock holds a secret, a reward, and a way not to be attacked by the crowd. Once you have unlocked the Ritualist outfit, if you need help finding the outfit, check our last video where it's fully explained. Put this outfit on before approaching the crowd and the preacher will not stop his speech or attack as usual. He will continue on with his whole speech and once complete you can go speak to him. He will thank you for listening and reward you with the band of the fanatic ring. This ring increases status effect damage by 25% and reduces status effect duration by 65% as a reward for a true believer. And with your reward, some wisdom, trials by fire, prepare us for the absolution of nothingness. Remember that well. The next secret is to do with the actual Awakened King. If you have certain items equipped when speaking to him, his dialogue will change like having the Assassin's Dagger equipped. But the main one is to have the Burden of the Divine Ring equipped. This will enrage the One True King saying how dare you wear that ring in front of him. It does not belong to you. You can find this ring in the Great Sewers where you find the Meridian Gun. Killing the One True King while wearing this ring will reward you with the Burden of the Departed Ring. This ring, when equipped, reduces total relic charges by 33%, but also increases all damage dealt by 10%. By the way guys, while we're doing this video, and if any of these secrets are ones that you didn't know, please hit that subscribe button, it helps the channel out a lot. Now let's get on to the next secret. The scribe is a merchant that you can find in the sewers at the beginning of the Forlorn Coast and he is hiding a secret of his own. As you play through the DLC you will find the missing memoirs book scattered around. This could spawn in different areas each playthrough. Now you can get 3 different rewards depending how you use this item. We are only going to be speaking of one though here. If you examine the missing memoirs book you can interact with the book latch and it will open revealing the book bound medallion. Keep this and head to the chamber of the faithless and take a right instead of going into the main council chamber. At the end of the path you can use the medallion to open the door and inside you will find the paper heart amulet and the scribe's journal. Reading this journal does not award anything but you learn that the scribe convinced his subjects to plot against the one true king and put him in the eternal sleep. So the scribe is the mastermind of the rebellion and the real traitor. The final secret is definitely the hardest because getting the equipment will take multiple playthroughs. First you will need to get the assassin's dagger by completing the council event in Losman not handing over the dagger as evidence. This would lead to having to fight all the council members at once. Once they are all dead, you get to keep the Assassin's Dagger quest item. Now take this to Nimue and exchange it for the actual melee weapon, the Assassin's Dagger. 
Secondly, you need to go to the Glielded Chambers and fight the Red Prince. The hardest part is that the final blow of this boss battle needs to be with the Assassin's Dagger. This includes no status effects or as what kept happening to me was I was using the Challenger class and he kept dying from the revive damage. Once completed though, you get the Red Prince's crown. Now that you have the crown, you will need to find the Path of the Fallen, which if you're still on the one shot makes it a lot easier because it does not spawn often. Like for me, it took three days of getting the area to re-roll. Go through the Path of the Fallen and kill the Wraith Leech operation at the end of the maze. Once you have done this, head into the building by there and smash the painting to reveal a pathway. Head up the stairs and to the Blackened Obelix. This will transport you to the Walk of Remembrance. This is the same area as the Path of the Fallen but from the other side. Head to the Monolysium and equip the Red Crown. Use the Memorial Medallion you were rewarded for killing the Wraith Leech and enter the Memorium. There is the Gift of Euphoria amulet there. But the main thing, the crown will reveal a passageway. Head through here and you will find the crafted material cremated soul ash. This can be crafted into the weapon mod Night Guard, which summons a Night Guard to aid in combat and lasts 20 seconds. But the main secret here is that there is a book on the side that tells of a fae falling for the one true king and them getting married in secret. They had a secret baby that is referred to as the Imposter Prince. This is obviously a reference to the Imposter King in the main game and the one who took over when the king was in his eternal sleep. Family drama! Right, that's the top 5 secrets I have found in the DLC, but I am sure there are more out there. Let me know what secrets you have found that I have missed. Hit that like button if you like this video and smash that subscribe button to be notified when we release more videos. You can also suggest videos and games you would like to see on either the community page or on X at Sifonjaeger. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Only Boss Fights. Have an amazing week you wonderful people.